Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I'm recording this on July 2nd for July 4th. And why is that significant? Because on July 2nd, Richard Henry Lee, a forgotten founding father from Virginia, introduced the articles before the, conv the Second Continental Convention that was being held in Philadelphia to basically resolve that the 13 American colonies were going to be free. And of course, Thomas Jefferson was famous for writing the Declaration of Independence, which was a plagiarism job. He spread out all the books. He spread out Plato, John Locke, all of them, had them all spread out and started copying things. Not to mention, in fact, probably some of John Adams' words for the Constitution that was used up in Massachusetts. But the committee was, don't forget, everything happens in a committee in politics, even our founding fathers. Benjamin Franklin, who didn't want to write it and didn't want to get criticized for it. John Adams didn't want to write it because he was from Massachusetts. And then there was uh, Livingston, Robert Livingston from New York, and Roger Sherman, I think, was from Connecticut. But that was the committee. But they gave it to 33-year-old Thomas Jefferson, a decision that Adams would later regret. But the Declaration of Independence, which was signed only by John Hancock at first, and then later it was signed by everybody. But these words are incredible. And, you know, it is amazing that the Founding Fathers came up with this beautiful, these words of the Declaration of Independence. And I want to just read... A short part of it. Many of you might have already read it, but I want to read it to you. And as I read this, I want you to think about what the hell is going on in this country today. Just think about this. The unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America, when in the course of human events, there's some prose for you. Who writes like that today? It becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and nature's God entitle them. You gotta remember that. We all are born with certain nature laws God intended. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. You think one moron jack wagon that serves in Congress can write that? How come we haven't got any smarter? We hold these truths to be self-evident. That means they are. They're self-proving. They don't need anything anything to prove them. They don't need any argument. They don't need any dissertation. They don't need any essay. They are self-evident that all men are created equal. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, we all know that slavery was a political reality when this was written. But by golly, as John Quincy Adams said, the second American Revolution, the Civil War, took care of that. So it might have taken them 100 years to get it completely right, but all men are created equal. That is a creed of America that every American has. Every one of us are created equal when we're born, that they are endowed by their creator, that's God, with certain unalienable rights. Unalienable. They are. You can't take them away. That among these are life, life, liberty. Think about how liberty is under attack in this country. And the pursuit of happiness. That was originally property, and it got changed to pursuit of happiness. What a much better phrase. Pursuit of happiness can be property or whatever. So in America, oh, by the way, I got to fix it that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. And whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, you know, ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry Bulldog Nation, people don't realize this. Our country is so effed up, it would not be treason for a group of people to say, well, in the spirit of Declaration of Independence, this is what I got cooking. But think about that, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. You can sum America up 100% completely with this simple, simple maxim. 
We have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And if we ain't hurting anybody, we're entitled to be left the hell alone by our government. That is the founding principle. And what has happened over the course of time? Government intrusion upon all of that by all three branches, all three branches. So ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, I wanna wrap this up by saying that today, the 4th of July is a wonderful day to rethink about where we are as a country and what you can do to fight back. And you know what else is a good day for? Fireworks, hot dogs, hamburgers, beer, and having a good damn time without social distancing and without masks. This is a Bulldog, every dog has their day. Have a great day.